Hello, I'm Ben. I'm going to test your new play. Would I like to take this opportunity sharing my experience on how to set the prompters to PID and uh, show you my whole Vlog. Now this play is Suwin Apple XL is a 1500 mm inspired play. The flat control is uh, H743. H743. Firmware is uh, auto play 4.40 and the uh, letter is upgraded to the latest versions of 4.42. Three I've done it's fixed wind testings with dual tractor and uh, tail pushers. After that, next step is VTO versions 4 plus 1 and uh, jet rotors. Now I'm going to remove the flat control from the this the dual tractors to my VTO place. Now beginner want to know one question is it big difference between four plus one and tet rotor? Most of the prompters is exactly the same. I will tell you what's the difference. There is one point I have to learn no matter fixed wind or VTO no matter four plus one and the tet rotor, their firmware is exactly the same one. Just the parameter settings are different. Now this is Mission Planner, the ground control stations for PC users. If APP for safe one is QDC, for beginners, the first preparations is to learn on this website. The oldparent.org. You can download firmware from this website here. Download firmware. Now choose play. Which or which or error use the play firmware? Now this is different versions. This is the latest four point four point two. Nick. Different flash control hardware, the firmware APG is different. Now, this is the Chintech ZH743. Now, this is the CUAV V5 Nylon. Now you can also learn what flash controls uh, you, you're going to choose. There are many different flash controls you can choose. Choose the uh, odd parent. And here, is the hardware suppliers and this is CUAV V5 level and uh, here is the Chintec H743 you can also learn how to set in prompters uh, from this website for example Q enable e -A -A. Now searching Q enable will come out Introductions, what is QEnable, how to set in. So this is your book, this is your teacher. When you open your flat controller and download the firmware from this website, the next step is and the load the firmware. Now here, this keep disconnected, disconnect, disconnect uh, the flat controller to your mission planner. And inst install firmware, install firmware, node custom firmware. If downloaded from this website, from here, and node custom firmware. And you can do as the instructions. If you don't know how to install the firmware, you can open the website and learn from here, searching how to install the firmware. And to use the Windows 10 systems uh, instead of Windows 7, because uh, if you use Windows 7, there may be a lot of troublesome. You have, you need extra driver. Now, firmware installed successfully, so you can connect to your flat controller now. Now, choose it from here. Connect your flat controller.
And this means it has been connected successfully. So what you have to do is not to connect any wires, any servo and motor connectors. Now the first step you have to do is do, do calibrations. Set up here and do the accelerometer calibration and this is the level calibration. Consider about how to do the calibrations so you can learn from this website and searching this here. Calibrations, the next step is to do radio calibration. Radio calibration is remote controller calibration. After radio calibration is compass calibration, if you have compass. Generally, we only calibrate the external compass. Now, this is external compass. Choose what you want to do. If my compass is compass 2, I will use compass 2. If it is compass 1, I will use compass 1. Okay, let's continue. Uh, here is the battery monitor. Metric monitor is the, is the color sensor. Now, there are different choice. Different flat control hardware, the choice is different. You have to learn from the your flat controls and this website will also tell you how to set in uh, this. Now after finishing all of the calibrations, next step is to set parameters. Parameters. And let's use this full parameter listing. Now most of the parameters is uh, unnecessary to change. Default is fine. Uh, now I'm going to show you which and what values we have to do. ALT hold RTL. Now this is RTL model come to home, the play come to home. The attitude is, what attitude is? Now here attitude is 8,000. 8,000 is uh, eight, 80 meters. Now you, you have to use the values what is suitable for you. This is not uh, everyone the same. Arming check. Now there are not a choice. Generally for the, if you are install a new place, you have to do some calibrations. And uh, so the, the compass, you don't choose. GPS, GPS configuration, don't choose this. Otherwise you can't uh, Passing the army check. But when your play is fully completed and ready to fly, you'd better choose uh, like this: is a compass, GPS, prompter, IC channel, voltage, battery level, airspeed. If you have airspeed, you can choose airspeed. If not, if you don't have airspeed, you don't need to choose airspeed. Logging variable, logging variable, hardware safety switch, and GPS configuration systems. Now, every time when you change the values, this will become green. It means you have to choose here right parameters. Save successfully. Okay. Don't forget this. Army rudder. The default is one, army only. You can use arm or this arm. If you, you want to be uh, use the rudder to arm or this arm, you can use two. If you only want to army only, you can use one. For VTO errors, we recommend you to use two. Fixed wing, if you fly the only fixed wing, you can use one. Airspeed outcurves, this is airspeed calibration. If you have airspeed, you have to do the cal calibrations. Calibrations, you can use one. Use one. Okay, if after finish the calibrations, you can change it to zero. Airspeed pin. If your airspeed is analog airspeed, you use the default 15. But your airspeed is digital, digital, you have used 65. 65. Now, airspeed, airspeed use. You, you can choose use or do not use airspeed. Out to never. Now, this is fixed wing out to instead of the VTOL. 
VTO L R2 has a Q. Q R2 means VTO L. Now this is fixed wing R2. R2 never. Then we use six and R2 AXES. Now this is every time you will choose to uh, R2. Now here is rover, pitch, and yard. And generally we only choose one. After roll completed, you can land in your, uh, your play, and uh, the next next time is pitch. Okay. okay. Don't forget to write parameters and save. Every time you have to do this. Campus enable default is one. You can choose one. If you have campus, you can choose one. If you don't have campus, you can choose zero. Campus use. Now my external campus setting as the number two. So campus use two, I choose one. Flat model channels. Uh, the default is eight. You can use uh, what you want. My mine is five. After setting the flat model channels correctly, so you then you can set different flat model. You the set up and flat mode exiting the different flat mode functions okay let's continue to the full parameters long action fs long action now uh, what i use is zero you have to learn from here this is the exponential why what is uh, what is it mean by one zero two now this is a q in related parameters it is mean the vtol parameters i will tell this uh, tell you this uh, by the next videos specifically because there are not of uh, parameters here now this is a server function i will also tell you by the next uh, another video because they're not of uh, Contents we have to uh, tell you so what to choose, what function it is. I will tell you specifically by another video. Now this is the VP radius, waypoint radius. Uh, what I use is uh, 60. And VP noise radius. Now this you have to use what uh, is suitable for you. It is not exactly the same for everyone. Uh, here go to the basic tuning now this is the basic tuning roller p roller pid pitch pid server yarn pid now here is q related the vtol pid pid roller roller pid Peach and young. Okay, next two videos. One is specifically talking about the server function setting. Another one is the Q-related VTOL prompters. This is the Q-related VTOL prompters. See you by the next video.